Many have reached out wondering, are Honda lawnmowers still worth buying in 2023? And every single time, my answer has been, are you in the market for a new lawnmower and considering a Honda? Well, there's a few things that you need to know. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear. I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. The first thing that you need to know is that Honda is getting out of the lawnmower game in September 2023. Done. Finito. This came as a huge shock to the lawn care community when they made this announcement last fall. Honda came out and said this is driven by market forces such as stricter environmental regulations, shifting customer preferences, and our focus on growing profitable products in our portfolio. They also had a bit of a legal battle regarding emissions with California. After that, they basically said, I know. This shouldn't affect other Honda products because they came out and said they will continue to sell the remainder of its lawn and garden product line and industrial type power products such as GX engines, which is a great thing because those engines are practically bulletproof, generators, water pumps, and continue to support its service and parts operations in the U.S. market. They didn't say anything about snowblowers, so I assume they're going to keep that train rolling too. Recently, many have reached out wondering, are Honda lawnmowers still worth buying in 2023? And every single time, my answer has been yes. But, I'll get into the but later. That doesn't sound right. My neighbor asked me the same exact question and minutes later he went out and bought this. This is the Honda HRX 217 VKA. All right, so I'm gonna do an unboxing and then I'm gonna set it up and you'll be ready to go, man. I'll get back to you. That'd be great, but I don't want any of the trash back. You keep the cardboard, styrofoam. It's a mower higher up on the Honda food chain. And to help this video move higher up on the YouTube algorithm food chain, would you mind taking a super quick second to hit that like button down below? Thank you. And let me tell you, this is a mower that you really can't go wrong with. Let's unbox this bad boy. Here we go. I don't want to jinx it, but this might be the last Honda that I open up in this garage. Whoop, 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 whoop. <sighs> Nothing beats the smell of a new Honda. Surprised my neighbor didn't want to do this himself. I love doing this part. Here's our bag. The frame is somewhere at the bottom. Lift this up. Pull this bag off. Lift this up again. Out comes the cardboard. In order to get this guy out, we're going to cut this guy open. Drop her down. Roll her right out. <gasps> and look what's hidden below. Our owner's manual and some oil. And our bag frame. Time to get this box out of here. I think I know just what to do with it. Let's get this cardboard out of here. Same on this side. Come on, this guy too. Get this foam out of here. Bring these handlebars up. From here, I'm gonna take these clamps, twist them in. Who knows that low? Wow. <laughs> that's, that's the handlebar in its lowest setting. Wow. That is really low. Let's raise this thing up and twist them in. Good. That's a more comfortable height. Let's set these height adjusters right on two and a half. That's good. Same thing. Two and a half here on this side, two and a half here on the front on this side, and two and a half here on the front on this side. Let's get this cardboard out of the way up here too. So this guy here is our frame, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this frame, bring these beams up, and then just simply insert them into the holes at the top, and boom, that's how our frame should look. Next, we're gonna take our bag, we're gonna insert the frame, handle on top. I'm gonna start with this top one. These plastic ridges are a little bit easier to install than maybe on some other brands, so you can just kind of pull it right over, lock it right down. Take the clamps, on it goes, on it goes, small clamp on, boom. You're on. And last one, we're gonna take this bottom one and on she goes. That is your Honda bag. It's a lot bigger than the HRN models. And from here, we're just gonna open up the back flap, drop her right in, easy peasy. This mower looks absolutely fantastic. All right, let's see what we got in our goodie bag. Here's our Honda oil. Let's see what else we got. Here's our owner's manual. On the back side, we have our product registration. We probably should have looked at this first, but I got so caught up in the fun of assembling this thing. Now we'll take a look at it. So we're all good with the bag. Now we're gonna add some engine oil. This mower is shipped without oil in the engine. Remove the oil filler cap or dipstick and add the entire contents of the included bottle of oil into the oil filler opening. The whole thing's going in. All Honda engines are run at the factory prior to packaging. Most of the oil 
oil is removed prior to shipment. However, some oil remains in the engine. The amount of oil left in the engine varies. All right, so let's get this bottle of oil inside. I'm gonna start by taking out our dipstick here. There's just a tiny little dab of oil in there. So as per the instructions, we're just gonna take this cap off, open up the seal, pour it right in. In she goes. So again, these are shipped with a little bit of oil inside. And there's a couple reasons they do that because number one, they gotta test the engines to make sure that they work. And number two, to help prevent any rusting or corrosion to any internal components while it's being shipped out or maybe while it's sitting on the shelf at the store. Oh! Well, I guess that's the more telling me. We're full. Dipstick goes back in, we're all set. Now also, I'm gonna recommend to my neighbor that he runs this engine for approximately 30 minutes. That'll give this engine a proper engine break-in, and then he should immediately change the oil out. This should get all those initial wear particles that are trapped inside that engine out. Doing a proper engine break-in on these mowers is definitely a good idea. Engine has no oil. Add oil before starting the engine. Not a problem anymore, baby. Well, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go fire this Honda HRX up. Okay, we got some ethanol-free gas inside. Let's start her up. That's the nice thing about a Honda, first pull. Oh, beautiful. Another cool thing about Honda, they got a really unique sound to them. I'll tell you what, these mowers feel so solid in your hands. Wish I could rip it up and down the driveway right now, but we got some lousy weather going on. Now here's what I like on this Honda HRX. I'm a tried and true fan of an aluminum deck, but this is their Nexite deck. For me, it's a close second and it's super durable. These wheels with this dense rubber tread and wheel bearings inside will last for years and years. My dad has a 14 year old Honda HRX just like this one with the original wheels on it and they still have life on them. Incredible how durable they are. Next up, the clip director. Pretty cool feature, it allows you to mulch and then it has all these increments moving all the way over to the bag mode so you can send everything to your bag back here and then let's say you want to mulch a little bit and bag a little bit you could put it maybe somewhere right in the middle and you get the best of both worlds let's say you got a lot of leaves to clean up you can set it maybe three quarters of the way toward the bag so that way it picks up most of the leaves and you could still mulch up some sending it down into the lawn or let's say your lawn is really overgrown and what you could do then is send it maybe over to mulch that way you can still mulch a little bit and at the same time bag up some of the clippings so they're not clumping up all over your lawn. That's really a smart feature by Honda. And you don't see features like that on many other mowers. Let's take a look underneath here. Dual blades underneath here do a really nice job slicing up your grass into an extra fine mulch. This is one feature that Honda absolutely nailed. And if you are looking for a mower that can really mulch up the grass nice, this mower needs to be at the top of your list. And up here at the top of the handlebars, we have the Honda Select Drive. This has that unique Xbox controller-like drive system. Simply push down with your thumbs and away you go. What's nice here is you have this dial and as you turn it, it'll push these paddles away from the handlebar. This way you can get a little extra oomph when you push down on it. Double up, mm, mm. Lastly, this engine's got a lot of power. It doesn't really bog down in tall grass, and when you combine this with the dual blade system underneath, you are going to get one quality cut. Now there ain't much, but here's what grinds my gears with these Honda HRX mowers. These handlebar locks right here will give out over time and break. I've seen it on a few of these, and a quick trip to the hardware store and a couple of bolts will fix that in no time. Next, these engines have auto choke actuators, but over time they give out and will need to be replaced. $10 part and about 10 minutes worth of repair time, super easy to fix, and you'll be back up and running in no time. So easy to fix that you could practically fix it blindfolded. I've only seen one other issue with these Honda engines over the years, and it actually happened to a good friend of mine. He was mowing his lawn, he hit a bump, and the engine completely cut out. It just stopped, dead in its tracks. He called me up, I did a tune-up on it, I cleaned the carburetor, I checked everything, and it still wouldn't start. He took it back to the store. The mechanic there took the magneto, flipped it upside down, and lo and behold, he pulled the cord and it started right up. Weird fix, but it worked. Now remember earlier when I said, but? When companies stop making a product, they typically stop making the replacement parts, or at least over time. When you buy a model like this that's going to be discontinued, you have to ask yourself, will parts still be available? I'm gonna go out on a limb here that's about one foot off the ground and say yes. Here's why. Honda has made these mowers for many, many, many years. In my experience and from what I've seen, they've made a lot of the same parts year after year. For well over a decade, I could pretty much count on going into a Home Depot and finding a replacement wheel when I needed one. I think a plethora of parts will still be available for a while. Plus another cool thing about Honda mowers was that their replacement parts weren't really too pricey either. To add to that, John Deere stopped making 
their classic 14SB, JX75, JX85, along with some other similar models, quite possibly some of the best mowers ever made back in the early 2000s. And for many years, parts were available. And up until recent years, now 20 years later, Parts are now becoming difficult to find, but some are still available. So this gives me some Honda hope. If you were to ask anyone to name a lawnmower brand, chances are good somebody would say Honda. It's kind of sad because this is the end of an era. If you currently own a Honda, awesome. Keep it going for as long as you can because it'll most likely outlast a lot of the junk that's out there now. To see how to make your Honda lawnmower last a lifetime, I'll have that video playlist linked down below in the description. All right, so I got his mower in the back and his box. Let's take it back to Brian. Hey buddy, I'm at your door. You wanna open your garage door? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got Brian here and all he's gotta do is run it for 30 minutes, put a timer on, let it run, and then drain the oil out right away. That way your engine is completely broken in and you'll be all set to go. Cool, appreciate it. No problem, have fun with it. Oh, and by the way, I left you a surprise. You'll know it when you see it. Alrighty then. Oh, Brian's calling. Hey buddy, what's up? Dude, did I tell you to keep the trash? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how you up? For more cool garage gear content, click or tap the screen right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage.